going? Yep. Turn okay. this on. Power on. That's it. All right, so this is your frequency here. And there's your frequency readout in kilohertz. And this is your duty cycle over here, which gives you your power control. And of course, your voltage will be at least not in the frame, but we can get to that. Oh, no, that's in the frame. It's okay. off the side. Now, explain it. That, that variac right there controls the power into the final amplifier. The driver circuit power supply is totally isolated. The minute you turn the switch on, your driver is fully energized, but with the variac turned down to zero, you have nothing going into the final amplifier. Okay, so what does the duty cycle control go between then, roughly? It, well, it gives you a say. This is all power right here. So mm -hmm. it's now it's, the duty cycle is going to segment that power as a sort of power control. It's a power control by the control of the current. The voltage will stay the same. Yeah, the, yeah, the peak of the, the voltage on the output the will stay the power is decreased by the mm -hmm. lack of current that's available strictly by cutting out the current for the time that's varying. Right, so the time instead that's on <coughs> is only here to here. So and when it's full, now you have right. more of a percentage of the time and more power, and when it's full... It, the current's on all the time. Then it's, yeah, that's full power. And that's the weird. advantage of this is the fact that you may have a load that you cannot get your proper voltage to, and it will overdraw the current rating on the power supply. So you control the current with the duty cycle control, and you still maintain the high voltage across the load, but at less total power. So the voltage, you can. this is a way to keep the voltage absolutely steady. Well, you, well the voltage, yeah, right. In other words, you can change the power going mm -hmm. into the load by not having to change the voltage, by just breaking the current up, the amount of time that the current is on for one cycle. Okay, in. if you want to talk about what's in the back there. Right, you can fill in all the connect. All the connections are color-coded. This is your over-voltage connection. The black and the red are coming out of the final power amplifier and to the primary of the transformer, which is over here. Secondary is here. It's in an oil bath with a safety gap. And here's your oil fill, and your oil drain is down over here because we can't ship it with oil, so you're going to have to fill it with mineral oil all the way to the top. All the way to That's the top. As high as you can get it there. Okay. Let it set for about a yeah. couple of days or a week. Yeah, right. And this is our this is our load right here. This is a, a, a spark gap which the plasma will come across. Yeah, well, that's that's for more or less a, a demonstration of the art. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, you know, that, that, that is not something that they really need okay. because the safety no. gap. <coughs> right. This is just a, uh, a demonstration. A, a test, a test jig for. Uh, Show the. And this is output. our 200 picofarad capacitor capacitor load, which is adjustable. So it is down to 200, as you'll see in the pictures. Now the variac. These two connections cannot be swapped because it goes, the power goes 220 into the variac, and then the variac power, as you turn it up, returns to the final amplifier and will make your output power go between zero, zero to full three, power. Yeah, full zero power. Full power yeah. Okay, and then obviously, if you look back over here, anything green is ground. Is a ground from the safety gap and the ground return from the transformer. Now we have this ground stud here, which is our return from whatever load that you're going to have across. He's going to have some sort of capacitive load, right? And a good ground stud right there. And your output power will be coming out of the white right here. This, these two are parallel together, so. If you have any fault, it'll jump that gap. And this is your high voltage out right here, which will be going to the ground. Now, let me, now, I'm going to interject something. The objective of the safety gap is when you reach a resonant rise and your voltage is too high, 
you can exceed the voltage rating of the transformer. When that happens, the safety gap fires. And when the safety gap fires, the unit shuts down Sends and has to be reset. Back into here. We can, we can look at that right now here. It'll send a small voltage, which shuts down the whole drive circuit. And this light would light right here. And when you have a fault, the safety gap, it'll spark really quickly. Sometimes you don't even see it. It'll be just an instantaneous. And when that happens, you'll probably still have voltage on this capacitor on a final amplifier. And to make it safe, turn the varic all the way down. Drain the capacitor. And then reset, and then you can start again. Start again and try to go just below the shutdown. Now, the safety gap is adjustable. And that's going to have to be adjusted to whatever... Um, the transformer we rated at. Yeah. particular one is 25,000 volts. Right. And peak voltage would be 1.4 times 25,000 volts. Right. Okay. Okay, now, I guess we can show... Are we going to be able to see the corona with all these lights? Oh, we can turn the lights off. It'll oh, help a little bit. Here or, yeah. yeah. Um, we can get a picture out afterwards. We can okay. kind of, you know... All right. So we're going to turn this on, and we want to run this, what, 50? The plasma rod? Yeah, 30-ish or something? Yeah, run it about 30. All right, we'll run this at about 35 kilohertz. And we'll turn the D cycle almost all the way up. Mm -hmm. Now we should be able to... <coughs> If you can hear that noise, that's the, the capacitive load over there. Let's see if we can see any. Oh, you can see it. A little corona, yeah. yeah you is have to get. Is it tuned to resonance? That's resonance there. I don't really need all that much power. We'll get it just off resonance a little bit. Right? And that's about um, what percentage of the area? Oh, geez, this thing's not even a quarter of the way up. And it's showing, it's, see what plasma like, you get in the eye? Yeah. So let's turn some Can lights down. How much current is it? That's about four amps right well, there. Well, you can do, turn the duty side. Oh, yeah, you can really see that. It was a little bit stronger before when you had it at a higher duty now cycle. Turn it up to four amps. Yeah. Yeah. Can't see with your eyes very much, but it shows up on the screen. Oh, yeah. If where, you just go up and down it? a little bit. Yeah. You can't see with your eyes really well, but oh, yeah, it does on here, it looks right like there. a... Uh, oh, yeah, I see it now. It's like a yeah, stove yeah. burner. Pretty light. Cool. Oh, oh underneath? Yeah, yeah, you get right in between those two plates. That's a lot of Corona. Okay. Now, now, now discharge the arc out and see what the, see what you get to uh, show on the arc. Yep. Should I uh, draw that arc across there or just close up the gap a little bit? And I would uh, get a screwdriver or something. Well, I, got, I got my grounding wand right here. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Should I be filming this? Show, yeah, show on the arc. Oh, okay. Let me get on the other side. Yeah. That's not much, is it? No. It's like 25 volts. So what's the current reading? About two amps. All right, put up the four amps. So we're going we're gonna to demonstrate the uh, resonant peak. Here's your frequency. 
the resonant frequency is going to be dependent on their load capacitance. So you can see that the resonant frequency of this draws the, you know, is 31 kilohertz. If you're off resonance, you won't get any current at all. Right, and if you're off resonance, your current drops. If you're right at resonance, your current is maximum. Now you can limit the current with a duty cycle without losing the amount of power. You can yes. still you can still hear that you still have the well, same amount of power. You're losing the amount of power. What? Yeah. You're putting a lot of voltage in there. Yeah. You know you're still getting. You go off resonance. Off resonance drops right drops down. down. If you go above resonance, it drops down. You find our resonant peak, and you have scads of power because you're not even at a quarter of the way up. So if you're at 100 volts and 2 amps, what's the output power? Uh, it would be 200 watts. 200 watts. So that's how you can do your calculation for your output power. Now remember, um, one thing mm -hmm. about this load, the load watts. we have on there now has very ser a very uh, a very small amount of real resistance. It's strictly a complex load. The complex load is the combination of the reactive components, being the test capacitor and the inductance built into the trans oil filled transformer. Now what happens is the real part of the complex at resonance is where the two reactances cancel out and now you have the only thing regulating the current, controlling the current, is the resistance and the resistance being the load generated by the plasma of corona discharge between the capacitor plates. That's the real part of the equation. And that's what you want to generate. Okay, so you remove the capacitive load. Oh, should I be on this side? No, uh, you can be right there. Okay. And I can go over this way here. So we're going to draw. Should operate if you, you see the safety gap went off. The Lights shutdown on. came on. Yep. And you still have voltage on the output amplifier, so you can turn your variac down, drain that power off, and hit the reset, and you should be able to. Okay. You can demonstrate that one more time. Very nice. Yep. You, to, to focus on the safety gap, mm -hmm. you see that thing fire off. Don't know very if we Yeah, it's very, very fast. fast. It's very fast. Very fast. Yeah. And that's the operation. And you, you know, when you drain it, you're going to have output power still when you're draining this out because you're bleeding off the power <laughs> of the final amplifier. We could put a bleeder on that big resistor, but it would suck up a lot of power and generate a lot of heat. Mm. And there we have it. Very nice. And we can take a little, little spiffy cover on Oh, it. yes, it even has a cover, too. Nice job, guys. This with a free cover. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, wait. Nope, you're not. <laughs> i got to show you this first. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. Quite a nice cover on it.